Should work. Or are we here? Am I here? <laughs> we. There are three of us. Four of us. Flora, Nera, Raiko, and me. <laughs> Okay. Who's here? Hello, Doris, Janet, Maria, Laura, Taffy, JK, Gail, Marianne. Hello to Germany, Carol, Rochelle, Saram Rose, Crystal, Sonnet. Peppermint Paints, Anna, hello, Tammy, Linda, <laughs> Heidi, hello, Sarah, Cindy, Ooh. Jody, hello, Spicy Boys, so probably Renee, prob hello, Renee, Lucy, probably I missed some someone, hello, Christina, Donna, Nate, hello. Oh, hello, Randy. <laughs> Just before you will go to bed. Hello, Paula. Uh, so, let's go to our dry paintings first. Otherwise, I will just say hello, 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 hello. Um, First, our dry paintings from the last live. Uh, I am just wanting to show if I can. If you remember, there was Dragon Glaze, uh, the green one. I don't know if you see that or not. Maybe I can go a little, just a second. No, now it's too much. Sorry, guys. Just can't do this right. So it should be okay like this. Uh, probably you can't see on camera, but there is some green um, shimmery thing going on here and here. Uh, so this is the second one that I kind of liked, still not completely what I had in my head, but I don't know, not so bad and not the best one that I did, or how can I say? So this is this one. I hope that this will not fall down. I will just put it here. And the scream one. <laughs> You see, the lady is still here. Uh, I don't know. I I wasn't happy with this one. I I I, I still. Nah, nah. <laughs> weird, 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 weird painting. So uh, maybe here you can see some of the shimmer from the dragon glaze on. When they touch the the paints, other paints, you know, uh, and this gold, you see this gold from um, Cadence. It's kind of it looks like it was a gold leaves on top, or well, how can I say? So uh, I still <laughs> don't like this neither. So let's put this one aside too. This week was a weird week, and my Dutch pour <laughs> that um, I struggled, blowed and blowed, and again and again and scraped and blowed. Uh, I like the colors, and I like this composition here, but still didn't figure out how to do something that I would be completely happy with, you know? 
I'm not going for that kind of, you know, just blow, 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 or how can I say, because uh, I would love to have this um, transition to the negative space that it's kind of wispy, not the, the edge, or how can I say, that's why I'm struggling always, because I want to blow it, that it will fade kind of in the, the background, and I just couldn't get it right, but it's not bad painting, I will say that it's not something that I am, I hate or something, but still practicing, and I still will, so I'm always struggle, struggling with the thing consistency, because I have, I don't know, problems, and this is the dip that I did just to save a painting, because I like the colors and I, you know, when you do your pores, hello, Canilla, uh, and you, I normally, when I don't like something, hello, Sarah, I just dip it because try to save it and I, I kind of like this uh, painting, I don't know, because it's, it just, and um, a simple dip but still has really I will try to show you up close really beautiful details with those cells from pearl white you see hope that you see those details and this gold is really really shiny you see so I think that this one is a keeper too and you know that I'm totally obsessed with this marble pours lately and I'm so happy with the first triptych that I did because it dried so beautiful um, because when I when when it was wet you know though this uh, Conequadon burnt orange was uh, really weird color but now that that it's dry and this uh, iridescent blue green you see turns from green to to blue and pearl deep deep pearl brown uh so you see shimmer and it really change colors from and it's just beautiful and in this um, negative one so I call this negative positive <laughs> space marble pour because you see those lines here in in this I just love it so I prefer probably this orientation horizontally but Obviously, I will not get it into the frame, you know, just to, but you can hang it as, as you want, maybe even this, this way, I don't know, because, you know, it's a preference how you want to, to hang them, but I like this because this uh, positive space one, it's kind of too busy for me uh and with those two negative ones i think that it balance balances this um uh positive one or how can i say weird negative things balance positive things so but this is the the blue one and uh, the metallic one it's not completely dry but i will show it to you just to put these two aside uh whoop don't fall okay uh and this is the metallic triptych i kind of struggled here with these uh, negative ones but i don't know and i would love to have maybe a little less silver on the the this one middle one but now you can see all these metallic paints uh, and what i realized is 
that I missed some black. I did add some black at the end, but still I would love to have more black in the middle one too. So probably, you know, uh, I would add black next time between every color or how can I say? Because I would love to have more of this negative space black thing to the to the middle one too so i will just try to show you probably you can't see on camera but in this metallics you can really see some lines in them too so they are quite interesting i will say maybe a little more manly looking or how can i say but still I like it so uh, obviously you can do a lot more with marble than just you know put your marble on canvas and uh, let it play yes it's relaxing just put your marble on and let it play but obviously you can do more huh, with no man parts mainly yes I agree uh, <laughs> uh but you can do a lot more more intentional pour with the marble too and this is what i will try to do today too and i grabbed my <laughs> fluorescent paints again and first thing that i will try to do i have them i put them some in the squeeze bottles and i have them in my cups too because I want to use a silicone tube today, but not at the first one. The first one, what I had in my mind for the first one is to do maybe just a puddle of these fluorescent paints in the middle and add some black and white between and then go... You know, I will try to go with marble from here to here and then again here to here and try to create kind of a flower. Again, you know me and flowers. I had this idea in my head for quite some time. I told Raiko about that, I don't know, probably one week or more ago. Raiko wasn't, it's a long ago. That I said that I will try to do a flower. But um, today is the day that I said, okay, again, you know, um, I may be a little cuckoo to do those <laughs> exper experiments on my live streams, but it's kind of, I don't know, it's. It's interesting for me just to do and because I do this on on live, you know, on like in real life, you, you can fail totally. But uh, if you pour, you know that we fail a lot of times. So, uh, so if somebody watch this and expect that everything will be perfect every time, it will not because... This is not what the real life is. And when we pour life, it's a real life. So it can't be perfect. I hope that I mixed enough black because I have three more canvases to do. This one and three more. <coughs> and I will have a lot of negative space here. So I have to have enough enough paint and I have a bunch of marbles and when uh, I I talk about that um, four canvases today yes one ten, this is this one is 12 by 12 and I for the next one next trip triptych I will tell you the, the, the dimensions later uh, I tell this before in my I don't know which pour that I did with marbles I like to use more marbles and I like to use these small ones I don't know why um, I kind of like this um, more 
I don't know, defined lines. Because the bigger your marble is, more paint you throw with your, you know. Uh, maybe on a bigger canvas it's different. But on this 12 by 12, I still think that my smaller marbles will work best. So, as I said, I will add some black for a base. And I will try to do as less mess, not less, not a lot of mess, because otherwise I will clean my table again for an I don't know how long between. Okay, and um, because I want to have negative space, uh, I will, you know, till this and have a nice coat of black on canvas before I will add my other paints. So uh, when you you do a painting with the negative space, you know it's important that you have a nice coat of your base down because it will stay like your color on painting. So if you pour if you have your base just like a flow extender or something you know it's not important to have it nice and smooth but if you will keep a negative space it's good to have your base nice nicely done too so it will level out to some point but still if you do this nice at the beginning you don't have so much work after so and of course it's messy with the black background always but i like black backgrounds i don't know with fluorescent paints and metallic paints i really like the black with a lot of paints i will say i prefer black backgrounds i don't know why so my background is done and now I will uh, put my gloves off because I will use my squeeze bottles here. Uh, because um, it's, I don't want a lot of... And I have my black and white. This is just white and black paint in squeeze <laughs> bottles too. No pearl white again today. Which order I want to use them? I think that I will go with the yellow and maybe I will do two, two, two rows of every color and I have to torch. Where is my torch? Always looking for my torch. It's always around here somewhere, but you know. Rajkovic, ko bite sam prosila, če mi en plastični kozak z malo vode naliješ, da mi te noter natala... Ja. Ok. So, let's start so i will start with some green <laughs> and about my fluorescent paints okay. yeah Hello. i use um vallejo heavy body acrylic uh fluorescent paints because i found them nicer because they dry bright and they are Let's do white next, uh, and they look really nice, I will say. They are not like those craft paints, craft, um, craft, 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 fluorescent paints. And they are thick, you know, I mix, because uh, those craft paints are thinner, fluorescent paints. They are real, really thin, or I think so. I don't know, maybe not, but I think so. And the orange. 
and the black and I want to keep some negative space here too but I don't know how much what is with this yellow okay let's do one row two rows like I said just to have a little more color and black and i'm adding black and white between just because i think that it will give give some interest to those lines i don't know maybe it's a mistake but again if you don't try you don't know and violet and black and magenta and white those um, squeeze bottles that i have those little ones are from our craft store and they create really big bubbles always but i will torch that it will not affect a lot i hope and yellow Do I want white, a little white on top? Let's do that. Just a little bit. Okay. And I lost my torch again. Oh. I just constantly putting the torch under the table and then I search for, for it. So, and what is my plan? You know, if I would go with uh, a skewer or something and draw those lines, you know, uh, it will kind of, I would probably kind of end up with some flower kind of shape. I don't know. And that's why I thought, okay, I will try to do that. Because I hope that I will get more of the organic look and I can still you know tilt it after so I will start here and I will just go <gasps> Oop, maybe I shouldn't have had two layers okay and where is my middle now so this this didn't start as i hoped so let's play okay and i'm just putting my marbles into the water just that it will that they will be of my way and let's go through here and down okay whoop not in this one definitely didn't uh, work as I hoped so let's improvise okay and now I will probably start through the middle or in the middle or should I do I need one right here so i will go through this one towards the side so you know it's pretty much like you would uh, use a skewer skewer or something but still i think that um, 
with the skewer you you would not get those kind of lines because uh, it's different with marble than with the skewer okay and I want to go from here through there okay now this looks like I don't know what I don't like this orange part here, so I will go through here, but where I want to go now. Huh. huh. We'll lift it like there and I will start with another one and I want some more lines so I will just do that I don't like this first one at all have to do something with it so I will just go to the middle again lift it up and now I will just try to Create this middle like something. And what I'm thinking now to grab my spin table and spin it. Not much, but a little bit. Okay. Okay. So let's spin this out. Not much is happening. See? Didn't move much doesn't move hello marina <gasps> just don't want you to have paint on my phone and everywhere so Uh, definitely it's a good idea to to add some black in between this is definitely good idea because you get and white because you get some definition but obviously it didn't turn out like a flower so I could just telephone Hello. <coughs> hey, I don't know. It's just uh
It's just uh, what? I don't know. I will I will stop with this because obviously it didn't work or should I just draw marbles through some more? Roll, not draw, what I said, draw. I will just, because with spinning I didn't get anything special. Maybe I should just play with marble a little more and I have so much paint on my gloves already the time. Maybe I will grab a bigger one this time. Oop. A bigger marble. Just wash my hands real quick. No, I will not because I will have wet hands then and I will not be able to put my gloves on again. I'm afraid that it will become too muddy, but still I don't, I really don't think that this design is something that I would like. So, yeah, I will just play with my marble again. Not in the shape, you know, that I started first. You see what the, the bigger one do? No. <laughs> no! I hate that. I totally hate that. Hopefully I will be able to cover this somehow. Was it just wool paint or or maybe some marbles do that i don't know i still didn't um i didn't manage to to uh figure out what why this happened you know with some marbles i did uh... Don't like it. So here life, here life is happening, you see. <sighs> what should I do? Just add more paint. So now I will grab just my paints from the and I will do a puddle here a big puddle I should have leave it like it was or I don't know now I don't like it so let's start with this and some black and I started with yellow I don't know why so obviously it will be in opposite order and orange and I will just roll my marble through and see what will happen okay I have such a mess because I spin it and I have black paint all so over my whole table and some white again I don't know why I even grabbed this uh, bigger cups <laughs> I should have done it just with squeeze bottles I don't know okay And black, let's do black, more black too. So I will just pour from the cups too. Black, 
uh, and uh, I want to use some silicone today. I know that a lot of people don't like to use silicone. I don't use it a lot too, but I said, okay, let's try some silicone into those paints and see what will happen with marble pour. So we will see. This will be the next one. Next three, I have to say. Or maybe not, I don't know. Should I do three triptych with the silicone thing? Because maybe it will be total disaster. Okay. The pillar. What should I sing? Steer it up. I don't know what to sing today. Any any wish? If I if I know, I can. <laughs> or maybe YouTube will will cut my my monetization if I will sing. I don't know how it is with those rights, you know. <laughs> maybe I can't sing even. I don't know. <coughs> Sorry. With those colors, I should sing something from 60s or 70s, probably. Yes, something from 60s. Okay. So you, big marble, you can rest because you don't work well with me. Okay, <coughs> sorry. And now I have so much paint on my canvas that this marble will not even roll, probably. Yeah, it will. I will just tilt it first a little bit and then I will roll because I have way too much paint on my canvas now i have to tilt some off and you see when you do big puddles you don't have those lines so i like those lines here that it's not a big blob of paint all the way you see here so maybe it would be even better, as I said, that I would use less uh, from the squeeze bottles because I wouldn't add so much paint at once. So definitely would be better idea, but let's roll. What if we do just circles all around and around? Rolling, from the Rolling. Tina Turner is hard to sing, so I would not step in into those shoes today. Just circles. Circles and circles and I don't know. A circle here. Everything is going in circles. So. Okay. Amy. Another one to to step in the <laughs> the big shoes. Why don't you come on over, Valerie? Marina, you can come and sing. Oh, since Marina is here, our, uh, her baby shower will be on May 7th. Marina, 
I, I did I said the right? It's a May 7th. Saturday, May 7th. I think that it's that I said the right date. I will just tilt a little more this side. It's definitely like something that somebody would see if would eat something mushrooms or something with all those colors i don't know weird 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 so definitely what i like is that um, if you put black and white between, you get more out of those um, fluorescent paints because they are kind of um, stand out, stand out more. I think if I would just, you know, go with one fluorescent, the next one, and next one, I think that it's better to to use black and white between. But if I look at this now, I'm afraid to do a, a positive one, a positive one with those colors. Maybe it will be just too busy. Um, still thinking. There is a lot of paint still on there, so. Ask me. Subota, ne, ne delo. Okay. Huh? I will leave this one and clean my, my, because I will just mess with this until because I will obviously not be completely happy with this painting so life happened again I will just uh, see I have my hands dirty again because I just constantly putting my gloves off I don't know Now I'm thinking how to do the one with the silicone. Should I do a flip cup or it will be too muddy because I want to add some black and white between colors because um, fluorescent are mostly transparent or semi-opaque. Uh, so with black and white, I can get some. And maybe torch a little bit to get some cells and then roll your marble through. This is, but I will not do a triptych because I'm afraid now to do a triptych with this because I'm just not sure. Maybe in Ma in this week because I will obviously have paints left from today. I will do a triptych. So let's do a single canvases with the silicone and play. Uh, and what I had in my head too was just wash my hands real quick again. Uh, to maybe try once just you know roll in a stripes you know down 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 maybe it could create some interesting design too so I will just clean this real quick as quick as I can with this 
ton of, of this black paint on my plastic on the table. Thank you, Linda. Linda Gutowski. <laughs> And even when you, you try to wash this black paint, it's still black. So for those who watch reply, you can fast forward, but you can do this in life. <coughs> Sometimes it would be nice in not live videos, in life life, real life, that we uh, could skip some things or fast forward some bad things but we can okay good enough not for marina but good for me <laughs> marina is my ocd <laughs> so i have 12 by 10 canvas and let me put some silicone in these paints because I have them in the squeeze bottles without silicone and here I will put some silicone but not in black and white I think just in in this ones and I will try to use this paint art silicone today this is paint art silicone oil so how much paint I have here I probably will add about three drops one two one two three one two three one two three four one two three one two three two three four again uh, so I when I start with this pouring journey two and a half years ago uh, a lot or most of the artists use that used silicone in their paintings but lately we avoid silicone oil quite a lot because yes you can get some cells you know with extreme sheen paints or some metallics you know and um, with only with the um, com combination of uh, opaque transparent semi-opaque paints but with silicone you get a little different cells so and since i didn't play with silicone for quite some time i th thought today maybe i can play with silicone again because I kind of like those cells too from silicone oil so and it's not so hard to to clean it off like yes if you resin your pieces it is um, an issue but if you use a varnish um, it's not uh, so 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 hard to clean your silicone oil uh, before you do you know i'm just thinking if i want to have the whole canvas with those paints or maybe i should pour some black and do a, a, a flip cup on top yes I, okay Okay, let me grab a cup. How much paint I need for that? This is a um, nine ounce cup. I think that it should do. You see, I bought those cups that are from recycled plastic to to save 
it says compostable not recycled plus plastic they are you know um, compostable what is it? how can I explain yes I don't know they are not you know so and they are you see you hear that I just hope that it will not fall okay so which color I want to have on the bottom probably some white so I didn't put silicone in my white this is titanium white and black so let's layer our cup white hmm let's do yellow uh, and when I start doing those um, uh, flip cups I was so I s enjoyed <laughs> this process layering of layering my cups so so much I don't know I like it so I will add black in between here maybe not a good idea adding black next to yellow I don't know and orange and I will separate them you know with black and white just to have some opaque colors between them because uh, black and white are opaque and this can make some cells too and magenta and black okay and purple and I think that I will pour some black on canvas and do a flip cup on top trying not maybe to cover the whole total whole canvas with this flip cup just in case if there will be too much cells because I don't know maybe it has to do something with my pouring medium but I I always get too much cells for my taste so and I tend to torch too much I think so too <laughs> and black and green and I will add white on top and then some black negative space kind of I will pour some black or I will flip this and then I will pour some black around yes I will do that okay this is our layered cup I will Oop, flip it around and now I can wash my hands and in the meantime the paint will flow Okay, <coughs> Karen from Waterfall Acrylics always do that. <laughs> Tap the, the, the bottom. Uh, when I start pouring, I was totally amazed and I still am. You know, I, I talked about Karen a lot of times because I learned so much from her and still do and i love her sense of humor so let's pour some black around and obviously i will pour too much again i i i i'm i tend to pour too much paint probably 
<laughs> yes, Raiko said that I do the same when I'm cooking. Yes, I always cook too much. So that's why maybe we both have a little, a few pounds too much around our belly. But if we were... If we are happy and healthy, it's everything okay. You don't need to be like, you know, those models. It's not meant to be to all of us to be like, you know, like that. And the scary part. This is the part that I had problems always with flipping my cup. And uh, when I, I look at Karen, you know, do some ribbons and everything looks gorgeous, but not with me. So <laughs> let's see, maybe it will be just total mud or something. Hope not. Let's do that. A lot of black. Okay, and now there should be some colors underneath. And, uh, you know, I have silicone, so, and now I'm, I will torch a little bit, not a lot. I hope so. So I will start from up high. The circles, trying to get some cells out before I will roll my marble in. <gasps> and I already do that. Wait for a second. weird i see only yellow green and blue i see some purple and some orange here i hope that it will came out some more so let's play with my marble and while i will play with marble i will tilt so hmm i'm just thinking where to start don't like this ribbon here so and my, my marble doesn't want to cooperate with me obviously i will not get a lot out of this marble i should have tilled this a little bit because it's way too much paint on the canvas, I shouldn't have had this black base at all. Okay. And now I will grab my marble. <laughs> Nothing is working as I hope today. So let's see. Let's put it here and go down like that so maybe I can create some ribbons with marble because I can't create nice ribbons with <laughs> with my cup and I will do one like here then I will torch again to maybe get some cells out and another one through there. <laughs> Uh, 
I know that I had too much paint, way too much paint, but like always, not always, almost always, but I'm always afraid that I will not have enough space to play with the, the composition. That's why I tend to, to use too much paint normally. Because I really like to have space. Totally not looking like I would use uh, fluorescent paints. So, and now to the torching part. I just have to figure out how to have less heat. Here or here? Here. So... Let's torch some parts. If I will get some other colors out, I don't see a lot. No, don't want caterpillars. In the flip cups, if you, if you have too much paint, you know, you don't get um, silicone oil doesn't, it's hard for silicone oil to, you know, come through lizard where colors are really like a lizard just don't know not that I hate it I, I kind of like it <laughs> in the way because um, I like this look of, um, you know, something like here and something there. But the colors are totally, maybe it was just too much black. I shouldn't have had black and white between every color. So we will do once more without that and see what will happen because I want to try that. Just want to tilt a little of this off and come back. And I, I'm not wearing gloves again, so I will have. So, I tried to show you up close. Not bad. I will not say that it's bad, but... You see the colors, I muted the colors really bad because of the white and black between every layer. This is my opinion. So what I will do now, I will do uh, another <laughs> flip cup, uh, but I will not add a base, black base, and I will not add black and white between every layer. So let's put this one aside. And I will not clean now because otherwise I will. And I have a smaller canvas here. So I need smaller, smaller cup. I have paint, paint almost to my shoulders. I don't know what I did. Okay, so let's grab 
this smaller cup. I will add just a little white in the bottom. I will do that. Or black. Or black. No, I'm afraid of black now. Let's add a little white. Okay. So maybe I should start with the other color too. Huh. Let's start with blue, maybe. Let's start with blue. So I will add blue first this time. This will came out last, so, you know. And purple. And I will just layer them one on top of each other and see what will happen. And magenta. And orange. And yellow. And green. And then I will add a layer of black. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> Maybe. This can turn out in total mud because I have so many colors. <clears throat> Let's add just a little black here in between, just like that. Just a little bit. And blue again. Okay. Obviously, I used all my blue and some purple. Uh, I have eight by ten inch canvas, like right now, and I this cup is. Oh, no, let's see, Milianos three seven ounce cup. I have to, you know, calculate from milliliters to ounces because we use milliliters, not ounces, here in Slovenia. Magenta and orange. The cup looks beautiful from the side, but I whoop, I don't know how the pour will look. The canvas. And yellow. And green. Should I add white on top? Or not? No. Let's leave it like it is. Okay. And now I will just grab those marbles here. Okay. <coughs> I'm coughing today quite a lot, the whole day. So, I will see how this will look and probably I will tilt it first even before I will uh, roll a marble or torch or whatever. Just, I will try to tilt it first before I will do anything. I think so. I will see. I even managed to do some ribbon. 
Okay. Less mud, definitely. So I will go with this side first. Because I don't like those big cells that you get if you, you know, torch before you stretch. And I almost lost all my, my yellow. Maybe it's something underneath. Hope so. Okay. Hello, Linda. I will go hide my gloves again. Because I almost uh, <laughs> put them off again. And then I will have all my, all my um, hands all dirty again. Okay. So now I will torch and then I will use the marble. So let's see. I definitely want to torch this part and this part and this part maybe. I want to leave this ribbon. I think so. Oh, and now I have only yellow. I missed my yellow before and now I have a ton of yellow here. So weird. Okay. Let me look. And now I don't like this white stripe here. Let's go and torch this. Okay. Now I'm thinking what to do with my marble. <laughs> I definitely want to do something on this uh, white and that'll break a little of those. So let me start here, maybe. Go up. Yeah, no, this wasn't the, the best idea, should have. And you know, I can still torch some parts, but I really want to get rid of this. White part there. And now I don't know anymore if I like this ribbon here. Just thinking out loud. <clears throat> Maybe I will start right here and go where? Right or where? <laughs> he didn't pay attention. You will have a homework if you will not pay attention. Joke. Okay, let's break this a little bit. Okay.
maybe it's even enough of my marble roll thing. I just try to stretch my cells a little bit, but not too much. Yes, I miss I miss being with the, the babies in the kindergarten sometimes. But Marina's daughter will be closer than my other granddaughters are that are away, so I can't see them every day. So I will probably I can't think now because I'm thinking how to what I want to torch a little more just a little bit maybe because I see some rainbow cells under this ribbon so I you see them here I will try to I see they are popping through like a rainbow cells here so I don't know. I, I, I think that I kind of like this painting. Maybe I will just try to tilt a little bit of this off. Hi, Raiko. Okay. Raiko said, no, no, stop tilting. Uh, I like the the thing that uh, marble do through the the these uh, cells, but and my, one of my paints starts to break <coughs> up here, so now I'm really mad um, because it creates. I will show you what happened here. You see one of my. You see those stripes here. One of the paint starts to break up um i like those lines and those cells so maybe the ribbons weren't the best idea here maybe i should do just a flip cup without the ribbon but now i don't have any more paint with the silicone but it's not bad i will say what do you say, Raiko? Raiko likes those pores with silicone, aren't you? <clears throat> yes, I will over torch it again. I will stop because I like this uh, kind of um, sky or something here and some Maybe I would love to have just one more swirl here with the marble. Just one. I have this problem, I admit. I sometimes don't know when to stop. Uh, I have one canvas ready, so, but don't have those paints with silicone so i will leave it so i will i will use the last one too and then i will show you all four of the paintings and we will see what will how they look i will just try once more just without silicone one more without silicone and i will try just to you know roll my marble in one way just for for fun and I will do a line just a line and I will go just like a swipe or something let's see how this will work with paints without silicone of course so I will have my base my negative space 
so I will pour. And I have all the paints the same consistency. The one that I use for the negative space and other ones are the same consistency. It's not like, you know, when I have flow extender that it's thinner. They are all the same consistency. And I'm without my gloves again. I don't know. I just don't like. I like to feel the paint. I don't know why. It's so. Just. Maybe I'm more that kind of person, you know, that you have to feel something, not just... I don't know. Just this corner and then I will... be done with the base. I will wash my hands real quick again. <laughs> uh, and I will use my paints in squeeze bottles, of course, without silicone. Okay, torch this and I will start with green. That's some black because here I love the black and white between because um, I love the that they give some depth to this and blue and white and obviously I will have a lot of paint again nothing new purple maybe I should do a Dutch pour now with these stick paints <laughs> because I'm layering this like or a Dutch pour or something. What is wrong with you? Something is in there. Is anybody in there? Have a blob of something. Just. <laughs> I almost. Okay. Should be fine. <coughs> okay. Magenta and some white and some orange and some black and some yellow. Obviously, my paint starts to dry because I didn't cover them while I did this um, uh, pour with silicone. I have to grab my gloves again. Okay. Let's do that. I will just go like in stripes, like I would swipe, but... I just <laughs> throw my my marbles that were full of paint into the, the ones that I have clean ones. Nothing new. I'm confused always. So I will start right there just to grab some black.
I can already see that I will not like that. So again, the same thing that I I did on the first one that I didn't like. So what you will do now, Fiona? Weird. I like the 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 ones with the uh, with the silicone the most. So. Let's drizzle some paint on. <laughs> Let's play. Let's just play. You know, uh, this is how you sometimes get something. If you just play and try to do something, I don't know when you are not happy. So I'm really that kind of pouring artist or how can I say that it's not afraid to you know just drizzle some paint on or something and see what will happen it's not it's not that you get some nice result always but sometimes you can should I add some black no and now I will just play this one is the most trippy one that I ever done probably with all those stripes and everything so Let's steal this a little bit. This one is totally psychedelic, totally. If I would have my pearl white mixed, I would probably drizzle some pearl white on top and do deep right now. Because I really don't like that. No. Do I have some pearl white somewhere? Or maybe... I can do, you know what, reverse flower dip, <laughs> no reverse flower dip, reverse dip, put the napkin on and see what will happen, I just, I have some pearl white here left. Let's do that, let's play some more, so, ooh. Did I thin this down too much? So I will drizzle just pearl white on this and maybe a little more of those fluorescent paints on top because How much time is it? Okay, I'm long today because I just keep on e experimenting. So let's just drizzle a little more. <laughs> there will be too much paint, but just to get some maybe effects from pearl white, I need a little color on top too. No, no, I, I will just do that. <clears throat> and I will not spray my napkin this time because I have a ton of paint. 
I just put the napkin down. Oh, I want to lift it, so let's do it like that. Let's see what will happen. I can scrape all of this <laughs> and wash my canvas. I will just put just a second, I will just... Just asking Raiko to clean my table a little bit that I will be able to bring all the, the paintings after. So, I'm just deciding. Probably I will just lift it towards the middle. Let's do that. Grab those two corners and those two. <laughs> up, up. Yikes. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. So. <coughs> this is disaster. But I will not try anything else because I have enough of this today because nothing almost nothing worked you see maybe i should add more <laughs> paint uh, so i will just grab another canvas all other canvases to bring them uh, to the table and then i will show you the close-up i'm happy with two of them so half Half a success, so this should work. This should be okay. And one more. I will just do like that because I like those two with silicone. But not the other two, but how different these two are when uh, I added where I added black and white so this is the second one that I add just black you know in the middle and white on the bottom and I think that um, this one is my favorite for today because it's kind of uh, somewhere over the rainbow. I will not sing. <laughs> um, and I like this this one too. I like this blue thing here. I like those kind of muted colors here because I don't know. It's not. Um, it's not bad at all so I think that I will play with silicone and marble a little more because these two I really like but or maybe this one it's even my favorite because it's kind of like it has some dark undertone that I like this sometimes this Lisa Frank, Frank, I don't know. Um, this is the first one that it's just not my thing, just not. 
I don't know. Just too much. Just too much of everything. And the last one. <laughs> so some colors did show through, you know, it's like... Um, uh, I don't know. Scooby-Doo. So I don't know. This was just a desperate... Um, desperate try to save don't look at my my paper so i will say that these two are my favorite maybe probably this one will be probably my favorite when we it will be dry i don't know because i love kind of this look of this black and thing or this one Somewhere over the rainbow, blue birds fly. And I sang. Anyway, so uh, thank you for being here with me, with my, my, I don't know, uh, weird experiments today. Uh, four canvases. Two I like. Uh, this one is really not my thing. So, um, but that's how it is. We learn together and I love to, to learn with all of you. Have a nice Sunday, all of you in States. It's almost, almost Monday here in Slovenia. And see you on the next one. Bye.